let's go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, naming conventions we use in Java as far as naming variables or methods or classes so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a new class and I'm gonna call it patient and I'm gonna check that box right there and there we go that's a new class now what's the first thing we see we see public class patient this is the name of our class and how should we name a class well first of all it should be relevant so a class name patient would probably describe a patient or have something to do with some kind of patient right um, and if we just name our class say class X we, we really wouldn't know what, what's going on what our class does so it's helpful if our class name actually kind of tells us what the class is about okay now as far as actually typing it out um, what we do is for class names we use upper camel case and what's upper camel case well it looks something like this uh, this is upper camel case well like that and I think I spelled camel wrong I don't know okay as you can see every word is capitalized so maybe if we had more more words in the name of the class patient uh, files like that uh, you see that we use upper camel case and both words are capitalized this just makes it easier to read now this is probably one convention that I don't follow most often and not, nothing really stops you from not following it it's just kind of good practice if you do make makes your code very readable okay so that's name conventions for our class now say we make a method static int get body weight okay now for a method for a method we use again a descriptive title we, we, we don't just go mm, static int GBW because maybe two months down the road we'll have no idea what GBW is and if, if if it's just named get body weight it's pretty clear what that method does and that's good and for methods we use uh, what's called lower camel case that's where the first word is lowercase and the following words are uppercase like that okay so that's the naming conventions for methods and let's, let's do one more let's do variables okay variables are once again lower camel case so let's go int um, heart rate okay and you can see heart is lowercase rate is uppercase or it starts with an uppercase letter and it's a pretty descriptive variable name you can tell what it's probably gonna hold if it's just HR or HR max you might not know what that is maybe not now 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 maybe you have a great idea of what it is while you're programming the code however down the road you wanna make sure you're able to read your own code and not waste time trying to decipher what you wrote two three four months back okay heart rate make it a descriptive variable descriptive variable name and if you put it in lower camel case make it nice and easy to read so n these are just some basic rules for naming your naming your variables naming your methods naming your classes and by no means do you have to follow them but it's good practice 
to at least make them somewhat representative of what they hold. That way, you can read them, other people can read them, and these are just some basic naming conventions for your Java code.